Hey, what's up, fam? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, if I do sound a bit weird, it's because I have a really bad flu, and I still do. But if I don't make this video now, then I won't. <laughs> and, uh, excuse me, all my uh, replays will go away. So, yeah. Um, so, today we are going over my new Final Four, and um, I'll be showing you an overall view of my base, which you can currently see from Guild View. Um, it's still terrain 29 or 28, I believe. I can't remember. But, yeah, if you... Um, but this is it so yeah I, I get wins in every single room so so that's really cool and the results have been absolutely amazing as you guys have seen um, over the days and in, and in other videos a multiple 10 10 so I could not be happy with the base itself now the other important factor of me showing you this is that you guys can clearly see that I'm still using the golden water pushes <coughs> now uh, because we are using the golden water pushes this allows us to have more freedom in what Final Four we use because we don't have to hope and pray that our Final Four AI <coughs> always reacts, right? Uh, they have some AI issues and don't always respond to some full clear entries, right? The fact that we have the water pushes now, um, we increase the chances of pushing in either the main or the support units which can mess up the full clear entry and decreases our... Um, reliance if that's a word for our final four to always react or instacast right because they don't always do so that's really good and this enables us or enables myself to now use nagato again who has ai issues and does not always react now we'll talk more about that and the specific rotations and some results as well so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and let's get into it so yeah, this is the final four that I've been using now. That consists of two Shinobi with the iframe, three Shinobi with damage nullification on the EX Ultimate. I've built them well enough so they deal enough damage as well. So in my opinion, this is currently the best overall final four, but only if you use it with the new water pushes, because I'm not going to lie, the new water pushes do push in a lot of enemies and all their support units, which have brought me a lot of wins. So when you, <coughs> so when you are using a Nagato with KLM, you really have to pay close attention to the rotations because you don't want the effects and iframes to overlap with each other all the time. What that means is, for example, KLM's new 4-star provides 5 seconds team invincibility. Nagato's 4-star uh, dog, which is his instacast, also provides 5 seconds invincibility. And they are both a iframe uh, jutsu. If they both cast that move at the same time, invincibility cannot stack, which means one effect will be wasted which means your final four would benefit more and be protected better if they could cast their iframes and get their team invincibility buffs at different times or at different intervals so that if one is stripped the other will then come into effect if that makes sense now in terms of shinobi placement and positionings this is what i have found to be the best for myself it might be a bit different for you and or if you change some shinobi um, what I will say is that I recommend having a Nagato in the middle and light in the middle as well. So let's start off with Nagato real quick. So his rotation is pretty. <coughs> so his rotation is pretty easy to uh, to understand. Um, his new four star first for that iframe frame slash <coughs> in uh, slash invincibility, and then in second his new long break. Uh, that's pretty simple and pretty basic for us to all understand why. So in second, and this is a very important rotation and Shinobi, we have KLM. And in first, we have his old four-star bond. If you go back to my older videos when I use Nagato and KLM, um, I've also said uh, in those videos that his old bond four-star, its AI in some way supports Nagato's AI and helps him perform better, or at least in my experience. So that's very good. Uh, now this move only provides 3 seconds invincibility so it won't overlap with a Nagato's 5 seconds as that should take priority, right? Uh, which is great. Now in second I have his new 4 star which is a very long iframe so he will be protected. And the reason why I have it in second, as I previously explained, it's for that delayed iframe and invincibility so that it does not overlap with Nagato and that they have a higher chance of casting it and using it at different times which protects not only themselves but the team uh, more efficiently, right? Um, and again, the animation itself is very long so he, so he is protected, it does 
uh, drain a good amount of CP as well. So overall, this is a very good combo for him. In third, I have his new lumber break. <coughs> If you use his new lumber break, I would suggest having it at plus three. That's the only reason why I'm using it at plus three. He gets that effect that when his uh, health is at 50% and or lower, he gets invincibility as well as the team, which could come in clutch. Um, if you don't have it, if you don't have his new lumber break at plus three, I recommend using his old lumber break then, which is uh, which would be a second iframe and it will give him and the team ex resistances as well so yeah that's uh his combo which works very well with nagato and supports the team he is bonded with the second mizukage for that uh continuous damage area uh, and it makes the screen a bit blurry so it's harder to see and it drains cp so it's overall very nice follow-up to have then in third <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Then in third we have Light and he is the same as always, nothing changed with him. Now if you watched my Sakura analysis, I did say at the end of the video that the only place that I would see her be worthy enough to summon for maybe is if you don't have um, Light. Now again, if you don't have Light then you would probably have summoned on Sakura and you should be using uh, her in his place. Um, but you might have to figure out a different positioning for her. If you are if you are using her in lights place etc but yeah then in fourth we have Hashirama Senju now just based on my experience and as I've mentioned before I've tried him with two jutsu and with three he's been the most consistent in his casting abilities and overall usage of jutsu in final four when he has three jutsu on now in third I have on his old uh, sword bond and the two main reasons as to why i'm using his old bond is number one he gets a second follow-up move right but then also because the animation is really short so that it enables him to get into his new lumber break much faster um i think his old lumber break the animation is a bit too long which uh which makes it a bit harder to transition or longer to transition into his uh new lumber break now if you don't have ashirama then i would recommend using sasuke the last but again, if you are changing or putting in different shinobi to what and whom I have in, you might have to figure out a different uh, positioning combo for your whole final four. As putting in someone else may affect the whole final four's AI reaction, etc. Um, now, um, for his follow-up, we have Baron Mode. That's going to pull in enemies, inflict more damage, more CP damage and damage in general. We don't need a team immunity follow-up because Nagato's 4-star and KRM's 4-star provides team immunity. So yeah, <clears throat> that's the general basis of this Final Four. Um, I'll show you guys some replays now. Thank you for watching. Um, I do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good one and peace out.